Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've recorded a video for YouTube, but um, a lot of things have changed and happened this year that I'm excited to share with you guys and take you on this journey with. So, um, Kevin and I moved to Vegas, got a house here. I'll take you on a little tour in a minute. Um, and then I was on prep for my pro debut for Legends and then found out midway through that we are expecting. So, now I'm pregnant, and <laughs> now I'm on prep for that. Uh, Dolce, what are you doing? Are there some in the fridge? Like, can I grab some before we go? Yes. My face is getting fat already. Okay. So now that I'm not on prep, and Kevin's not on prep, <laughs> <laughs> um, we can actually start eating for micronutrients and we've changed our diet quite a bit but it's a lot healthier and getting all the nutrients that we really need so we got a blend tech and I've been making with some badass smoothies in the morning for breakfast um, I'll show you what he's doing right now um, and that's kind of been how we're starting our morning it's super filling um, I'll fill out all the macros for you and show you guys um, how much is actually in it and it's pretty dope so he's done one banana so far, one cup of spinach, and then a cup of broccoli. This man, we've been together for almost three years and I've seen him maybe eat something green, maybe twice. So we're getting him healthy. We're getting him healthy. We're putting some micronutrients in both of our diets. He's putting strawberry. You're putting the top of the strawberries in there? Yeah. That's disgusting. You have to cut them off. You gonna taste it in there? Probably. Freaking, you're that guy that doesn't do things right until you get caught, huh? And then you do it right the second time. You're that guy. Is that what you did in combat? Why did you get more? I'm bigger than me. Current physique update. I am eight weeks as of yesterday. So, still have some abs hanging on by the thread. Um, I'm 121 on the scale, which is pretty normal for my off-season weight, so I haven't really gained any weight. I'm just, as you can see, not nearly as lean as I normally am, and I'm starting to get a little pooch. Pretty excited to see my body change. Um, and then the body butter that I just posted on Instagram is working out amazing. It's this, and I've been putting it on two to three times a day all over my whole stomach. My boobs and then all down right here um, pretty much all the places that you can get stretch marks up so hopefully that will work and prevent them we are on our way to church we found a new home church here uh, right up the street from our house what are you doing um, so we're headed there and then after we're going to work out I've only worked out once since I found out so it's probably been about three weeks and I've only worked out once um, I had some, not complications, but um, my progesterone was really low and then I had to get my thyroid tested and all kinds of things were just up in the air so I wasn't comfortable working out. But now I need to get my fat ass in the gym. She said he won't let me if I get fat. <laughs> um, so I'm going to record that for you guys and I want to record um, all of my workouts through each trimester. Um, make like a series out of it. Why are you looking at me like that? Where would you like to sit here? He's mad at me because I was yelling at him for being late because I thought church started at 11, but it starts at 11.30. So now we're very early.
the gym. I'm gonna hit legs today. I'm gonna go pretty light, but I wanna do a lot of the same movements I used to, so I don't lose any of the muscle. Um, it's pretty much gonna just be about shaping rather than building at this point. Um, and I got one of these. It's a polar heart rate monitor that links up to your phone. Um, now that I'm pregnant, I can't ever go over 150 uh, beats per minute. So I gotta monitor my heart. So you just put it right. looks like so you can see my heart rate up there one thing I've noticed since I've been pregnant my heart rate is always very high so right now I'm at like 130 when before I probably would have been like at 100 just doing basic squats so uh, that really kind of stops me from doing a lot too because my heart rate I can't go over 150 so if I'm already at 130 doing just the bar that's a problem. For squats I'm gonna do 10 regular and then I do five negative and then I'll do 10 pulse I'm gonna do four sets of that, gradually going up in weight each time. So I start at the bar. I start at 10s now, and I'm gonna probably go by like fives after that, so I don't get too heavy. So 164. <laughs> so now I need to stop. <laughs> Just calm down a little bit. I might take my pulses down to five. Because that's what's really skyrocketing my heart rate. Definitely gonna be learning. I feel like I'm learning how to work out all over again, but it's good because I'm gonna focus on form a lot more in isolation. So I might get a lot out of having to work out like this the next few months. So usually I prefer a lying leg curl, but I can't do anything on my belly, like I can't lie down or anything, so I'm switching over to seated leg curl. Um, I'm going to have to do that, a few other moderations, like I'm no longer going to be able to do hip thrusts, I'm probably going to have to do like cable pull throughs, so I'm really going to have to get creative as far as like the body moving the same way, but just not the actual same exercise. Um, so for this one, a lot of these machines have pivot points, so adjusting your seat, it needs to be where the pivot of the machine matches to where you're gonna be pivoting your body. So my knees to be bending, and needs to be aligned with it. So um, that's kind of how you guide where you move your seat. Same with like a, a curl or anything else machine that you use, just like if you'd be bending here, you'd want that red mark to be where you're actually bending. So the biomechanics of your body aren't gonna be fighting the actual mechanics of the machine. So just keep that in mind. And here we go. Super light today, so everything. 
everything is going to be extremely slow, controlled, and just really isolating. So I can't really do the same full exercises I used to when I was only doing like 10 set reps and going extremely heavy. So now I have to go super slow and controlled and then closer to the 15 to 25 rep range so it's still effective. as far as uh, foot positioning for when you're doing this machine so you can actually do it two ways so if you do it flex you actually are incorporating your calves to help you with the movement um, but then again you're working your calves as well so this would be really beneficial if you want to go extremely heavy um, so you can kind of have a little bit of help but you're still developing uh, the hamstring tie-ins if you want to really isolate just the hams and you'd point your toes by fully contracting the calf it takes it out of the game and doesn't allow you to incorporate it into your workout so you're only working your hamstrings. So right now that I'm going light and isolating, I want to point so I'm only focused right here and my calves aren't doing anything. You'll notice it's much harder. harder with the pointed toe. So with this machine, I'm sure you've seen it a ton of different ways. I'm sure you've seen people like clean up and do it. See people actually do it the way it's supposed to be done in this way. It's all about angles and what you want to hit most. Um, I personally don't like this way or the standing up way. I just feel like it builds out here and I don't want my butt to be big this way. I want it to be big in the back. Um, so actually Katie Earn, I saw this on her page. She's brilliant. Her exercises. Um, but she did one where you lean all the way back and you kind of roll your hips under when you come up. And you'll notice that's focusing all on the medial head and it's gonna build, you know, build right there, it's gonna get bigger. So. more right than the other way it's just honestly about bodybuilding is truly that you're building your body so so many people do things in a different way and there's always kinds of jokes like oh that's wrong like they're doing it wrong and no they might just understand their body a lot more and have a mind muscle connection and can understand what muscle it's hitting and how it's targeting that muscle and what angles so some people might be looking at me like I'm crazy and doing this all wrong but I know that I'm building this part of my butt rather than this part of my butt First time I'm trying this machine, I usually do that one over there where it's like you stand and push and it's like a kickback, like just your typical booty blaster. But I can't do anything on my stomach and that one, like the padding is just pushing all against my stomach. So I'm trying this one. you are every we're learning a new machine is never fun so don't let that be discouraging to you if you're in the gym can't figure something out Working out with pregnancies. One, it does 
has so many benefits to you and your baby. It makes labor so much easier, I've heard, and actually it's scientifically proven that more fit women, um, contractions aren't as brutal for them, and the more fit you are, the less likely you are to get an epidural. And it's super important to me to have an all-natural birth, so um, that's one reason. Two, I really like my body where it's at, um, and I don't want to lose the last few years of all the hard gains that I've made, um, so I really just want to maintain those. And obviously, anyone that goes the nine months without working out, like whether you're pregnant or not, it does drastic measures to your body, so just to maintain, stay healthy, my body and I, and my baby and I, and just have a healthy pregnancy. That's going to conclude my actual leg day. Um, I'm going to finish up with some planks um, and some other core workout uh, without actually doing like crunches or anything. Um, and then I'm going to do Stairmaster and then probably stretch a little bit. Stretching is going to be really important through all this, especially going through labor. You obviously have to be flexible and stretch. So um, I'm probably going to incorporate yoga back into my program. Um, that's really it. I've been extremely fortunate. I haven't had any morning sickness. Um, really the only symptom that I've been feeling is food aversions. Chicken kind of grosses me out now, which really sucks. And uh, I'm always tired. Like I just always feel like very fatigued. Um, but other than that, like I haven't been sick at all. So um, for those girls that are, I know a few girls that are pregnant right now that have horrible morning sickness are still hitting at the gym every day. So um, I give credit to you guys because I'm not sure I'd still be able to do that if I was sick all the time. Um, but yeah, just gonna knock out probably 30 minutes on the Stairmaster, super low, probably like level two or three, and then can't go over 150, and then uh, hit some core and then be done. That's it. I've done them to level three because it got a little too high. But I want to thank you guys for coming back to my channel. I promise these are going to be more frequent. Um, I really want to do one every week just for this entire pregnancy. Um, so subscribe if you're not already and keep watching as I grow both mentally and physically through this whole journey. Whenever I found out I was pregnant, I was like, because I've never had an off season. So I was like, perfect, I'm really gonna spend this time. I'm gonna go super heavy, build all this muscle. <laughs> and I had no idea how fatigued I would be. I had no idea how just different it would be in the gym. And you're actually not supposed to be lifting heavy when you're pregnant. So that plan kind of went to shit. So now I just gotta maintain rather than build. <laughs> <laughs> have a great off season. <laughs>